you really welcome back to Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. I've done a bit of training. My strength is up to 300. So that's good. Probably all I'm gonna, really gonna do for the moment. Do some more stuff later. Probably not even in the village. Now there's this we have to do. This is the game of Awari. I will be happy to show you how it is played. Side near B be my side. The hole on the end at the left be my home. The hole at the end of your right be your home. Three stones be in all the other holes. We'll be taking turns moving stones from one hole to the other. You move for. Oh, sorry. Now you go again. Very good move, you got my stones. It'd be my move. I think I've got. Oh. I was about to say, I think I've got this in the bag, but. I still do. You have more stones in your home than I have in mine. You be the winner. Now, what you're supposed to do is do this for three days. But what we can we can do instead is quit and start again. I forgot to do something. I was supposed to talk to him. No idea what you've done. Time right now. You think that maybe the words you speak of peace be real? Maybe I will try to help you bring peace to my people. You need to do that. Oh yes, you do. If you ever wanted to hurry it up and just, you know, get through it like that, that's how you do it. Oh. 
for it holds a few families this time of year. Next season, we move to a larger village and more families be joining us. This is just a temporary village. Massive for in that case. You know, I'm impressed. So, does this mean that they just take it all down when they leave, or their village is set up along the, along the way as they go? Hmm, does the body move with the season so that the cattle will always be eating fresh grass? Does the body life be based upon cattle? The cattle be our wealth, our food, our clothes, and our drink. Well, isn't that nice? I gotta go now. I'm gonna talk to this guy now. Mostly skipping through what he says to say. Like I've said before, we've... This is our third go-through. You should know what they're saying by now. not skip the entire thing so you can at least read it if you so choose. Hyena men? I don't remember recall seeing hyena men. Jackal men from the second game, but fighter does, or... Acrobat! Actually get the acrobat skill in the next game. Safe to say that we're not going to uh, be able to challenge her. That is not the jump that she she does. Oh, hello. Welcome, Prince of Shapia. Maybe not often does somebody have such a guest. I be the storyteller, Zuman. I will be most interested in learning more about you and your adventures. 
I am certain they will make an interesting story. Yep, and I shall tell you stories. Magic drum, you say? Do tell. I give you this story. There was once a people, a proud people, a peaceful people, people who had no enemy. Then one night, a thief stole into their village and stole their magic spear. Now the people have an enemy. Now the people can no, have no peace. But who be this enemy? Who be the thief who stole the magic spear? That is not known. Then the next day, a warrior was found in front of the village. The people. That warrior was dying. That warrior have in his hand a magic drum. That warrior have on his hands, on his lips, a name. That name be Leopard Man. The warrior, he die. These be the questions of the story. Why did the warrior have the magic drum? Why did the warrior say Leopard Man? Why did the warrior die? I give you this story. Now the questions are yours to do with, with what you will. I think I already know this one. Uh-huh. Yeah, we know. We've met. I do wish to hear a new story. I give you this story. Once, there was a thief. This thief was a very skilled thief. He could hide so that no man could see him. This thief could sneak so that no man could hear him. This thief lived in the village. It was a quiet village. It was a peaceful village. It was a village where everyone was a friend to the other. Then one day, the thief decided to steal from his own village. He sneaked into someone's hut and stole something. The thief was so quiet that no one could hear. The thief was so sly that no one could tell that he was a thief. Now the village be not a quiet village, for everyone accuses the other of being a thief. Now the village be not peaceful village, for everyone thinks the other is a thief. Now the people of the village have no friends, for every man may be an enemy. Did the thief gain something by stealing, or did he lose? I have given you this story. Now the questions are yours to do with what you will. Pretty sure this means don't steal from this village. You could, but you shouldn't. of the savannah is all around us. You, uh... Very good at finding that out.
I don't know if that's supposed to be like the Jaws theme or Pink Panther theme. As you approach this pool, as you approach this pool of bubbling water, you feel a sense of serenity and peace. The cheetah lying on the, the rock looks at you calmly. The Impala looks at you and the cheetah without fear. As you pat its soft fur, the cheetah seems to purr. What a place. You drink from the cold, clear water. It has a slightly sweet taste and it tingles in your mouth. Or I forget. There's a strong aura of magic here, particularly near to the large rock. I've had a bad habit of dozing off during Rune Lore 101, but this one you remember. It's the symbol for peace. Now nah, then. Where to go? Perhaps back to Tarna? I do want to get some more, get some healing pills. In order to do that, I first need to find the honey bird. Oh, speak of the devil. That could be a honey bird. Bees, killer bees. You see a honeybee sitting comfortably in the tree. The bees do not seem to be bothering him. Do not attack the bees. You pour honey onto the ground. Bird left a feather stuck in the honey when it flew away. Non violently. Thank <laughs> you. 
<sighs> Good God. That went horribly. in this game being so difficult. with uh, her later. Welcome, welcome. It's so good to see you again. Wow, it seems like days since you were last here. It was days, actually. Here you go, mate. Hey, great, you got the feather. Now I can make some more pills to heal. Take what's left to my healing pills and trade for this fine feather. Great, this piece of water will really meddle with the potion. I knew there was one out in the savannah. I'm glad you found it. The story says something about a beautiful woman, magic user, making a magic spring. Someone named, let me think, Irana, that was it. That's all I know about it. Sleep seems to have done me a world of good. I already spoke to you and I already bought you a rope. Shut up. Bought, bought a rope from you, rather. Didn't buy a rope for you. That would be weird. Here, have more money. Just keep playing those drums, man. You gotta help me. I'm not begging you. You gotta meet me tonight in the bazaar. Agree. I need to do this three separate times in order to get points. This is a fact that I was not aware of previously. Meeting him, I mean. Not... You know, finding him there.
very much news to me. Okie dokie. Uh, hey guys. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? You do, do you? I just feel the feeling that someone is watching me when I leave this place. My house is protected magically. If there is something watching and listening to us, we should be able to speak openly here. Be careful, Prince, for many things may be watching you too. Yes, indeed. Sneaky time. It's time I had a meal. Pleasure. Residence. Hmm. What a brilliant speaker and diplomat. Very ill and seldom speaks. Does he come by often? Should I be waiting? Wait, what? Oh, I thought it was something else about a pillow. It services. Beg your pardon? Oh, I'm glad you're not, like, brainwashed or anything. Have, like, a meal, please. looking at me like I clicked my tongue at him. It'll please me. I have to pay for it. And I suppose it's just the ruin it's being paid for. Now I'm gonna go do some things. I'll come back, uh, Next video. Hopefully with more money, and definitely with more some, some more skills. And we'll uh, talk to our thiefy friend. I'm the Blues32.
This is Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.